Welcome back to Grey Squadron Gaming for another exciting unboxing today. And I told you guys we'd be back shortly with the other part of this wave, and that's the Yub Nub Squad Pack with C-3PO and all our Ewok friends, and the Ichiwama Squad Pack, which I just like because the name is, is great. And it has another Leia to give us another option. So let's get digging in. Let's start with let's start with the Yub Nub. Because you know, you think Ewok, you think Yub Nub. At least I do. And between Legion last summer. And Shadowpoint. Man, we got Ewoks everywhere now. Isn't that great? Let's see what we got in this boy. Okay, we got our usual insert in there with the sprues and the cards. Let's start with the sprues. We got some big bases. We got some small bases. Let's see. So we do have two of the larger bases. Which we haven't seen a ton of these in the game, so it'll be nice to give some more options. And the small bases, it's the same design as we've seen for a while now, though, so they haven't changed up the bases at all. Yet. Okay, these have nice little blocking so they all can go together but not break each other. So let's start looking at them. Here's our R2D2. It's an Ewok friends here. See three PO pieces, more Ewok friends, three PO R2D2 heads. Next brew has one of the bases that the Ewoks go on. Some tree parts, some spears, Ewok bits, and the last sprue is the other part they go on with trees, spears, Ewoks, etc. Funny enough, I, I think somehow I didn't notice this just now. Both of the supports, um, as you can see in the box, so I'll show you closer. Uh, they're the exact same, same thing twice. Uh, which, you know, depending how you feel about that, I wish it was a little different would be nice, but they are just generic Ewoks, so that is that. So let's uh, let's look into the cards now that we've taken out the sprues. Let's, go, let's, see what the, let's see what the cards have. It's going to be the same stuff still where you get a ton of cards because of all the different languages you get. <coughs> so let's see, we get... Uh, all of our good furry friends. Let's go ahead and only take the cards we need. Ooh, there's the new uh, new cards. I'm really interested to play with those. Okay, so everything else, all this is other languages. We don't need that. We'll stick it over here for now. Okay, let's uh, let's see. We've got the got low gray, and then of course wickets, C3PRD2, and our generic um, Ewok trappers. Let's get rid of these cards. This is that new Ewok Trapper Primitive Arvest. You choose an active objective and you roll the dice. It affects happiness fallen, which is a brand new type of thing. Each enemy unit, and this is, by the way, it's the share point card here, so. Each enemy unit that is contesting the chosen objective gains pin, then push each other, push each enemy character that is contesting the objective two away from the objective. Each push suffers two damage. Each character that is contesting the objective just suffers two damage for a hit. <clears throat> on expertise, each enemy unit contesting the objective gains pin and suffers two damage. And for a failure, each enemy contesting gets a pin. So it's interesting that this one and this one are very similar. I mean, they're actually all, so you're losing something. So you get the pin there, this adds two damage. This is just two damage. So this is your best option, right? That's what you want to roll, which is the hardest because it's crit. So Logre is our leader. There's his stat line for one side. There's his other. This is Wisdom of the Woods. It's a 7665. Got some decent, decent dice pools there. Could change crit to failure. <coughs> but you have to roll um, four or more. So we're not going to see that a ton. Got crits on the sling. A couple crits with some damage options on the hits and the melee. And got two shoves within three. You got a free at a five. Interesting. And this flips the attack and defense. Yeah. So now we have 6, 7, 5, 6 versus 6, 5, and 7, 6. So this is more melee. Which you can tell we have more crits now in the melee. We have more damage. Less here. We do change crits to hits on 2 and 3. So that changes. We do have, definitely have more damage potential early. We got 2, 3, 4 damage rocking here with the pin. Another free um, action. We're only at 4 now. or No, it's still 5. Then we gotta look at Low Gray. He's our. There's his card, 7 6. Quick Wits. He's canceling, not canceling, but changing crits to hits pretty low. That's nice. 
Just gotta get him out of shove. You could go one, two, shove there either way, which is nice. Otherwise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage there. With some good statuses that if you want to have them, not too bad. C3PO and R2D2 card right here. And they have, they're very unique for the fact that you can flip them and they're not a commander. So R2's all melee. There's this thing. It's lots of shoves, a couple damage, nothing crazy. It does change crits to failures um, when you get a ton of expertise. Flip it, and now we got 3PO. 3PO is also melee, and he's way more healing and free objective action. Also crits to failures. Within our, within our Ewok trappers, 5-6 and 5-4 defensive and offensive wise. Our trees have a lot of damage on them. But uh, yeah, we got, looks like two shoves at two and three, it's not bad. Damage two, four, five, five damage, not crazy high damage, but with just three successes, you can do a decent amount of things. But you know, those only tell part of the story. We're gonna take off all the cards we don't need, which is this giant stack here. So we'll get those to the side. <coughs> and we'll flip through here, let's see what we got. Let's start with Logan. He is an 8-3 force. He's got Endor, Ewok, and Shaman. Inspiring present at the start of the unit activation. Each allied Ewok or unit gains Hunker. It may remove two damage or one condition from itself. Then each allied Ewok scout may dash. Elder's Command. Choose an Ewok supporting character within four. That chosen character may dash and gain a Hunker. Remove one condition from itself or make a five dice attack. Stealthy approach. Each unit, each character in this unit may dash and then gain a Hunker to immediately make a focus action. Protective Ward, while this unit is not wounded. Characters and other allied Ewok units with range 4 added die to the defense roll. That's very nice. Secret Ingredients, each time an allied Ewok character wounds an enemy unit, roll an attack dice on a crit or a hit result, refresh a force on a failure, then each character in that unit may dash. I like it. We have Mr. Wicket, who is for secondary unit. He's got, um, oh, they both have the same health too, sorry. 9-2 and 9-2. But we do have lead the charge. He's got a lot less text. Let's see. Let's see how this works. At the start of the unit's activation, choose an enemy character in line of sight and allied Ewok supporting unit um, within range three. Each character in this unit may uh, each each character in this unit and each character in the chosen allied unit may dash towards the enemy character. Hunting horn. It's an action. There's an action one right there. Um, so this one. If you don't, we don't see a lot of these. Actually, I, I don't want to say it's the first because I'm blanking now, but it's one of the first, if not few, that has uh, you have to pay a force and it takes up one of your actions. Each enemy unit within three that is not engaged gains pin. Each enemy unit within three that is engaged gains expose. And then stealthy approach. Each unit the character may dash, and then this unit may gain hunker or make a focus. Interesting. Next, we have. The other option for our secondary unit, that's c 3 and R2-D2, who has that dual side card, which you don't usually see outside of uh, commanders. They're eight and two. They have some really cool, they're Droid and Rebel Alliance. Brilliant. Um, yeah, Droid and Rebel, no Ewok. But that said, they choose an allied Ewok supporting character within four. Chose a character may hunker, heal two, or make a five dice attack. So they're immediately helping our Ewok friends. Most of their, almost actually everything is. So R2, I'm not so sure that's a good idea. When an Ewok unit or an allied rebel alliance unit begins the activation within five, this unit may use this ability. The activating unit may remove any number of conditions from itself, then that unit suffers damage for each it removed. It's free, by the way, too. It's nice. Divine influence, while this unit's active stance is against my programming, allied Ewok units within four gain skill. While this unit's active stance is angry, feeling all Ewok warrior units gain steadfast within four. That's good. Goodness gracious me. While one or more Ewok units that are not wounded are within range 3, characters in this unit cannot be targeted with ranged attacks. That's good. That's very similar to the other R2 we saw in the other box. And then we have our Trapper friends. They're 7 2. Stealthy approach. 7's a little low, so let's see what else they gain. Each unit, this unit may dash, and each unit may make a, gain a uh, hunker or make immediate focus action. Battle tactics, primitive artifact, that's what we just talked about. When you create your starting order deck, you may include up to one primitive artifact battle tactic card. When you draw a battle tactic card, resolve its effects of the card, and then draw another order card and continue to as normal. So that's really nice. Camouflage. At the end of the setup, you start with a hunger. Very nice. Help with that low health. When a character in this unit, I'll strengthen numbers. When a character in this unit makes attack as part of a common action for each other Ewok 
engage the target that is not wounded and one attack, attack dice to the roll. It's nice. Um, I think the only one that uh, it's 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 a, a little a little lackluster for me right off the bat without playing it, so I can completely change my mind the first game we play. Is going to be Wicket, but you know sometimes you got to look at both together. Let's see. So you can help that. He's got a, he's got a decent tree though, so I think that's fine. It's just the the action's going to be interesting to get used to, and I wonder how many people are going to miss that at first because they actually have to use an action to do that. Uh, the Ewok trap trappers are good at low health, but they have this great thing right here, so. That box looks like a lot of fun. I can't wait to crack into it and try it out. So that was our Yubna box. Now let's look at our Ichiwama box. Let's open her up. This has Leia, Chief Chirpa, uh, Pablo, and some Ewok Hunters. These are bow and arrow Ewoks, which also, looking at the box, uh, it's the same exact model for those supports too. So you're getting some redundancies there. Not too surprising as a Legion player, because our Legion Ewoks, um, each unit has multiple the same poses, but there's no reason you can't customize them a little bit with a little ingenuity. So, if you want to. If not, there's lots of Ewoks and Hordes of them coming, so wouldn't be surprised if they look similar. Open this up. We have the same thing. They're all stacked nicely. Too big, more than small. Let's just start pulling these things apart here. Okay. There's our base. Some more Ewok Hunters, our bow, which, funny enough, none of the Legion one have bows, which would be nice. So yeah, the little quivers looks really nice. The next sprue looks exactly like that sprue. So I'll just show it off real quickly here. There's the bows, the bases, the Ewok bodies. Yep. And this one we've got. Our uh, Ewok bodies. Our Leia. So we get Leia focus. There we go. Looks like you can have her with the helmet or without. Let's see the option. I mean, I think with is the only option in my mind, but <laughs> the box art, as you can see here, is her um, right there. It's without it, but then the art is with it. So it gives you a little customizability there, which is always appreciative. Then we've got the two named Ewoks. Let's crack into the cards. Okay. Oh, by the way, I didn't show the last box again because there's not much to show on this, but they always have this little thing that has the other languages on the back, and the front just tells you to read this first and show some pictures and some credits. And their box is one just like it. Okay. Let's get into this box here. Once they ran out of a lot of cards, we're going to put to the side because they print it for every language. Okay, let's see. So all this we'll put to the side. We don't need those right now. We've got our share point cards here that we pulled from our deck. We've got Leia. Frontal Assault, she's a 7-6 seven, six, and 6-5. Six, she changes crits to hits right off the bat and possible failures later on. Lots of crits in the um, range, a couple in the melee. She has a very interesting tree. I'm just kind of looking at it with you guys for the first time. Looking like we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine potential damage is nothing to shake at with range. That's pretty good. We've got a shove at three. It's only shove. Reposition. Free effect. It's all good. Yeah, looking at the other side, we've got six, seven, five, six. So it's exactly mirrored on the dice pulls for defense and offense here. Uh, we've got crits to hits right off the bat, crits to failures. This time, crits start earlier in the melee, later in the range. We got range four, both sides of range four. I don't think I said what the range was. We have shoves at two and three, which is nice. Um, and we got some disarm with this max damage in here. We have a one, three, four, five, six, seven. A little less damage, a little bit more shovey. Not really, about the same shovey. No, it's more shovey on this side. Yeah, so interesting combinations there. Next we have Cheap Chipra. He is 7 melee, 5-5 five, five defense. He changes crit hits at 2. A couple tree options here. Look, a lot more damage than I was expecting again. We've got 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Another 9 here possible. It's a pretty good swing. Um, only shove is at 3. We've got reposition, some heal options, some disarms. Not too bad. Good amount of crits on the board there, too. That's pretty decent, actually. Uh, he is a... There's his backside for the chief. He is a, um, another option you can run there. 
he's got a shove and one and two. So there's your shove options here. This is a little bit more at six as well. Less damage potential on the side. We've got what? One, three, four, five, six, seven max. We've got a free action there. If you need crits to failures there, some damage potential there. So that's that's a pretty good card. We'll see what the card looks like. Uh, up low, he is a secondary. So here's his card. He's got changing crits to hits early with Lucky Day. He can do range with a sling or with a spear. He's got to shove out one. I think he can shove much later. Damage, not, he's not here to do a lot of damage. Looks like two, four, six is max. Five, it's not terrible, but you have to get a lot of successes to get that six. But early shove, four damage, reposition, pretty solid. Then we have our Ewok Hunters. Six, five, five, four, range four. We got the bow and the melee situation awareness. Uh, damage wise, once again, not here for ton of damage, but not, not terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six, six off the bat. You got a shove at three if you want to go down that route, or you got a free climb. Okay. Let's look at the cards, because that's once again what makes these units good or not, right? Really, it's these cards. So let's take a look at Leia, put all the other ones away again. Leia is a 7 3, not an 8 3, so that's interesting. Um, we got Indoor Rebel, Scout, and Warrior. Infiltrate at the start of the unit's activation, one allied rebel. Alliance made it advance. That's nice. Defensive maneuvers. Each character may dash. If any character dash, they get a hunker. It's from our clones. Explosive charge. Two. Just objective within three. Each allied character within two of that objective may dash and gain a hunker. Then each unit within two of that objective suffers two damage and remove it. It's any hunker if it has it. Coordinated fire. It is exposed, so very similar to the clones, but with the Rebel Alliance. Unexpected allies, allied Rebel units have the Ewok tag, and allied Ewoks have the Rebel Alliance tag. Really gives you some versatility there of how you're going to run them. 10-3, pretty solid, pretty solid. So we have Chief Chipra, which is another 7-3. Keyword there, Indoor, Ewok, and Chief. Bolotas, this is choose an enemy trooper within three. That unit gains a pin or expose. Stealthy approach. Each character may dash and negates a hunker or immediately makes a focus action. Mobilize the village. While this unit is wounded, not wounded, excuse me, characters and other allied units within four and one dice of their attack rolls. Sharp stick. Characters need to have impact too. When a character makes a melee attack, the target does not benefit from protection. Bright tree defender. While this unit is not wounded, when another Ewok unit becomes wounded, after the effect is resolved, roll a die. On a crit or hit, each character in the unit may reposition and make a 5 dice attack. On a failure or a expertise, each character in that unit may dash and heal. Not bad. We have a 4 cost secondary here with Indoor Ewok and Scout. Retreat, choose an allied Ewok character within 3, and each enemy character in that chosen Character is engaged with the chosen allied character may reposition away from that chosen enemy, gain hunker, and then the chosen character may gain pin, or excuse me, expose and dash towards the chosen allied character. Stealthy approach is again is the dash and gain a hunker or immediately make a focus. We've seen that on a few of these guys now. Fearless and inventive. Each character in this unit may make a melee attack as part of a common action before dice are rolled. You may use the ability to add two dice for each enemy character other than the target that is not wounded and engage with one or more characters in this unit. So the more people you're surrounding you, essentially, the better his attack gets. What does this do? When a character in this unit makes a melee attack, an enemy character that has pin, or excuse me, I keep calling it pin, expose, or pin, I could have said it that way, the attacking character may use this target's character's melee expertise chart during its of its own. That's interesting. I like that. And then we have Ewok Hunters, which cost three. And they have Stealthy Approach. Each character in this unit may dash. Then the unit gains Hunker to immediately makes focus. They have the Coordinated Fire, but this with Ewoks, it's for Pin. Camouflage, at the start of the game, they gain the Hunker. Strength in Numbers. When a character in this unit makes an attack as part of a combat action for each other allied unit, engage with this target that is not wounded, you get to add a die. So that's them. So, got some building options in these two boxes, too. You can run them pure Ewoks. You can run... Chief, Palo, Ewok Hunters, and then you could do um, Low Grey, Wicked, and the Trappers. You could throw a little Rebel Flare in there instead of Chief Chipper or Low Grey, you could throw in Leia Organa, which is nice because even if she has keywords that say Rebel Alliance only on there, she gives them 
all Rebel Alliance tag on her bottom and vice versa. All her Rebel, including herself, get the Ewok tag. So it's really nice. So she gives a lot of flexibility there. Um, I feel like she's one of the better ones in these boxes. Just at a quick glance. Obviously, I haven't played with them yet. But I'm, I'm really liking Leia's uh, Versatility there. And then 3PO and R2-D2 in the other box as well give some nice versatility as well. Here's our cards here. Yeah, so I hope you guys continue to watch the channel. We'll have these guys up as soon as I can build and paint them. As you can see in the background from the last video, all the other three boxes. So there's a lot to build and paint. I've already started assembling some of these miniatures from the boxes from the last unboxing. But like I said before, comment below to get entered in any of our current giveaways for Legion. And for SharePoint, you'll be entered in these videos as well. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Have a great time.